All right, guys, let's check out a newer G-Shock. This is a 2100, specifically the model number is GMB2100GD-5A using the module 5691, retail price $600. So, I mean, the reality was we're destined to even see more 2100s just because of the success behind the 2100 from its earlier models all the way to the you know, more um, popular and more affordable resin, Bluetooth ones, and solar. So these ones are probably going to be the best bang for dollar in the 2100. Expect a ton of different colorways in these. I suspect we'll see more metal versions as well. Uh, I think there was, what, three released there originally. This one is the one that I selected through Mimos. I'll put a link to Mimos' website down below with a code that you're going to want to try to use to uh, unlock whatever discount you may get for it. But it'll be a better deal and free shipping. But this one, they're classifying as rose gold ion. I say rose gold like with air quotes because it's definitely more of a coppery rose gold, if you will. So um, I really love the color though, it works. It's better, I think for me personally, versus like that really pink um, gold that they did in the square. That one I had owned for a little bit, but I ended up selling. So uh, now I'm getting way far ahead of myself. Let's talk about the size. So 44 and a half millimeter wide. I measure about a 50 millimeter lug to lug, not including like these bits here because we don't really count that on regular watches. We're not going to count it on G-Shocks. 13 millimeter thick. It does have a mineral crystal. It is not sapphire. I'm telling you though, a sapphire titanium version of this is going to happen at some point. It, it's just going to happen. It's too popular for a watch not to. So this is about 25 millimeter here. The bracelet tapers down to uh, just over 19 millimeter. And then you have a simple fold over clasp with four micro adjust that you can do no problem. You have a screwed in case back there, keeping the 200 meter water resist and everything is metal. The case, the case back, the shell, the bracelet, everything is metal. So it's very cool. Sized for my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it weighs in at 153 gram. The counterpart, the G-Shock Square in metal, weighs 158 gram. So really close to the same weight for sure on these. We already talked about the fact that it is solar charged and Bluetooth. So you will use a app on your um, smartphone probably and you will uh, uh, connect to it. I personally haven't done it, so, but it is easier to adjust and it will pull the time uh, I forget how many times a day, like six times a day or something. It'll pull the time from your smartphone. So the accuracy of this watch is like phenomenal if you connect it via Bluetooth. Now, if you don't connect it via Bluetooth, it's basically just going to run off the quartz module and it's still going to be really accurate because it is a quartz movement. This particular one has the negative LCD display there. A lot of people prefer the positive one. Here's a look at the positive one. You can see it's more legible. And... But with this one, with this color tone and everything, I think the darked out screen works good. This little pointer over here is pointing towards medium, okay? HML. So that is your power reserve level. So this one needs a little bit of a charge. Not a big deal. Just throw it up on the uh, windowsill or in your car windshield area or something like that, and it'll charge right up. Now, if you hit the mode button here, you can go to uh, world time, uh, I believe that's a stopwatch, countdown timer, alarms, and then uh, back to your time. And that's all displayed here. I've shown that many times. It's a pretty intuitive module. I said you never had to connect it to Bluetooth. You can adjust this with the adjust button. You just hold that down and you cycle through the modes. You can adjust the year, the day, and the time. So you can use it totally disconnected off the grid um, and just use it as a regular watch, which is typically how I'm going to use these. I don't even have my G-Shock Square, which I wear way more often than this, um, tied to the Bluetooth, but it is going to make it a more accurate watch. So that is something, something to consider. All right, let's pop this on wrist real quick and I will show you the illumination. In case you were wondering, I was wearing a new release Aurora from Zelos. Very fun titanium watch. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I am losing my summer tan. It is getting into the fall season. 
So um, I kind of have that Caucasian red look going on, so it maybe doesn't work that great. I think it would look better if I had more of a summer tan. Uh, but overall, I think the copper tone of it is just going to work well anyway for me. And I really enjoy it, having an analog metal G-Shock still on the affordable side of things versus like a MTG or an MRG or something like that. Here it is next to the Bling Master, the AK, the gold square. You can see it's going to present a little bit larger because it does have to have more real estate for the analog hour and minute hand. But uh, still, you can tell they're in the same family. Let's kill the lights. We can check the illumination. There will be some loom on this, you can see, on the hour and minute, and then around the chapter there. So that is actually really cool. We're getting a step in the right direction. You have a backlight on the LCD, and then of course you have a really bright LED to light up the whole panel. So you should be able to tell the time in the dark. Not a big deal. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.